Hello, everyone. My name is Tim Knutson, and I'm the Director of Product Management for Zero Trust here at Google Cloud Security. First of all, thanks for joining me today. Um, and today I'll be speaking about uh, what's new with Zero Trust, and in particular about a topic I think that's top of mind for many of you, as I've spoken with a lot of customers over the last number of months, and that is around this idea of Zero Trust coverage. Um, and the reason why I frame it this way is because in a lot of the conversations I'm in, I, what it comes down to is how can you uh, achieve across all of the use cases coverage with Zero Trust um, so that you can achieve that security posture and the compliance um, that you need to for your organization. So as I've reflected on these different Zero Trust coverage conversations, it really was broken down into kind of three main buckets, and that is clouds, devices, and ecosystem. And what I mean by that is in clouds, we're talking about can I provide zero trust in front of my apps regardless of where they live? Devices, it's can I provide zero trust, whether it be from a managed device or an unmanaged device? An ecosystem, that's all about how can I bring this all together with my current or possibly future investments so I have one holistic zero trust approach on, on one zero trust uh, architecture. So let's get into the first topic, which is around cloud or multi-cloud. So, First update here is over the last uh, couple of months, um, we've been working on this. We talked about this in the last Next and some of our, our summit uh, events. And now I just wanna let you all know that with Beyond Corp, as you can see here, our ability to provide access uh, for not only GCP apps has now been further expanded to provide access for apps that are sitting outside of GCP and connecting to those apps over a various set of options. It could be over an interconnect, over a cloud VPN, or now with our new app connector over the internet. This gives you the flexibility to connect to those apps regardless of where they live based on the option that you wanna choose. We've also expanded our support for what apps we can support. We've continued to support our browser-based access, which is very flexible and provides a little easy set of options, of course, for both managed and unmanaged. Um, but we've also expanded that support to also provide legacy app support so that uh, for those apps that are still in your ecosystem that aren't browser-based, BeyondCorp can also provide support for those as well when, as part of your zero trust use case coverage. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is around devices. So with devices, uh, what we see of course is the questions of how can I support managed, um, but also heavily, the theme is around what can, how, what can I do for unmanaged? And the reason why that's becoming such a big theme is because most organizations have a, a moderate to oftentimes it can be large contractor um, set of, uh, of individuals that they need to provide access to, both SaaS applications and private applications, as well as back to kind of the, the theme of coverage, organizations are also trying to make sure that they have a strategy in place to handle the scenario if the managed device is no longer functional, but they still need to provide secure access to those critical applications needed to run their business. So we've been doing a lot of thinking about how to solve this problem. And in particular, how do we solve for this for the unmanaged device? Um, and in the constraints that we've really put into this consideration is how can we approach this without requiring agents? Because again, it's an unmanaged device. Deploying an agent is not easy, or in many cases, not even acceptable. How can we do this without having to require a proxy in place? Uh, how can we do this so we support any device, regardless of the user, be it third party, be it first party, um, and regardless of where the users are connecting from? Uh, and this is where we've brought together the marriage of what we've done with Beyond Corp and its zero trust access capabilities and protections for data and threat with Chrome browser. So together we can provide a very secure way for enterprises to browse uh, SaaS applications, critical for business operations, as well as private applications. But our focus here is specifically on SaaS applications as, as a starting point. And that's with what we're, we've done with Beyond Corp Enterprise Essentials. And with this combination of Chrome browser, secure by design, Beyond Corp and its zero trust capabilities, we're now able to offer a very rich set of security capabilities and protections all through a browser, Chrome browser, without requiring agents, 
proxies supporting all OSs for all of your users, whether they're first party or whether they're contractors. If we think about the capabilities built into this, let's go through each one of those so you have a little deeper insight into what we're offering with this approach. So as we break this down further, the first thing we want to solve for is how do we provide secure access to SaaS applications? And as we thought about this, the thing we wanted to take advantage of is the fact that we have a control point on the device with Chrome browser, and we have the ability to make a context-aware decisions in line with the authentication path of the SaaS applications. And with that, we're able to collect signals from the device using our present using Chrome browser um, and other environmental understanding in terms of location of user uh, geography, and use that as all part of the context set to make that context aware decision on whether or not to uh, allow or deny that user's access to SaaS applications, whether it be workspace or other SaaS applications. With that, that's kind of step one. And these policies are very flexible. You can you can adjust them per SaaS applications, per groups, so that you have the ability to be very specific um, in what policy you want to set for each of those, those access uh, groups. Now, the next thing we've thought about is, well, there's one thing to provide zero trust access to the SaaS application, but what else can we do for the unmanaged device when it comes to protections? starting with data protections. And again, this is where we're taking advantage of the fact that we have the combination of Chrome browser on the device with Beyond Corp. And with Chrome browser and our built-in data protections, we offer a rich set of ways to protect that valuable information that is being viewed or exchanged with the SaaS applications from that end managed device. Because in the browser, we have the ability to do DLP for both files being uploaded and downloaded to protect sensitive information from coming out or the wrong information from going in. We also have within the browser other data controls. And these are protections that allow us, for example, to stop, copy, and paste or other protected information from coming in or out of the browser. Because again, we have the leveraging Chrome browser, highly ubiquitous in nature, as that control point on that unmanaged device. And We've also considered, obviously, the user experience aspects. What do we tell the user if they're being blocked or denied from a particular action? We can You can configure it to trigger warnings, straight blocks, um, and you can also modify the messages so they're more custom to uh, the user experience that you want to deliver. So then if we think the next step we've taken in thinking about this holistic approach for unmanaged devices is how do we handle threat protection? Because when we look at this problem, it's a layered problem. First, how can we control access? Second, how can we provide protections for data? Third, what else can we do to ensure that we're reducing the risk? And that's where the threat protections for malware and for phishing, all leveraging Google's safe browsing come into play, which takes advantage of the fact that it's deployed across 5 billion devices already. And we're now bringing that power into Beyond Corp Essentials for the purpose of, of providing a comprehensive solution of access and protections for unmanaged devices. But if you then take it a step further, back to making this practical and operational for you and the enterprise, we've also looked at how we can provide visibility. And again, leveraging that foothold that we have with the Chrome browser, we're able to provide visibility into the devices, the users, what activity is being uh, generated, what actions are being taken in events as a function of both our controls on the data side and the threat side, all in a very rich reporting format so that you have that same visibility you'd want for and need for managed devices now also available for unmanaged devices. And this approach also provides a way that you can actually offer your users um, the ability to use Chrome as it. You can use Chrome for personal work, and you can use Chrome for your enterprise purposes because through the availability of multiple profiles, you have the enterprise profile and you have the personal profile. With the enterprise profile, this is where we're able to force all of the policies we just talked about in terms of access, in terms of data, in terms of threat protections. So that's the profiles used for those purposes, but that is not the profile that's used, of course, for, for non-work related or personal uses. And in fact, you can have multiple profiles for work or enterprise use cases uh, so that you, in, in the case that uh, there may be 
separate needs across different um, enterprise needs. And while we've been focusing on the unmanaged device here, this same capability can also be provided for managed devices. And as a whole, what we're offering is this combination of Beyond Corp for zero trust access and the built-in data protections, the remote cloud management. So basically making you with through Chrome browser an unmanaged device, effectively a managed device for purposes of setting policy, for purposes of visibility, um, and purposes for management. Um, with Chrome browser itself, secure by design, we now have a comprehensive way of providing secure enterprise browsing for your unmanaged devices, as well as if you want to use it for your managed devices. Now, let's move on to the next topic, which is around ecosystem. Ecosystem is something that we've been very uh, focused on from the beginning. In fact, as you may recall, back when we first started with Beyond Corp Enterprise, one of the things that we launched was the Beyond Corp Alliance. And the whole purpose of the Alliance was to recognize that you are pulling together a zero trust solution that oftentimes involves multiple different products, technologies, and tools, but all focused on one single outcome, and that is getting to zero trust coverage. Um, so what we'd like to announce today is that we've expanded our collaboration with Palo Alto Networks and Prisma Access. And this expanded collaboration uh, and partnership is all about being able to take our Beyond Corp Enterprise Essentials, which, as I just discussed, provides you a very comprehensive unmanaged device uh, solution that provides secure enterprise browsing for SaaS applications, plus the best in class ZTNA solution with Prisma Access for managed devices to provide the most comprehensive solution for zero trust, all powered by GCP. And this allows customers now to expand their zero trust coverage using the solutions such that you now have an approach that will solve both for your managed devices with Prisma Access, as well as for your unmanaged devices using Beyond Corp Enterprise Essentials. Together, giving you that zero trust coverage uh, so that you can deliver that security posture uh, that, you're, that you need across both your managed devices as well as unmanaged. And this takes advantage, of course, of the reach, the scale, the built-in protections for DDoS, uh, low latency network. They're all part of the GCP platform on which both Beyond Corp and Prisma Access are deployed. And together, it gives you a comprehensive set of zero trust capabilities, in particular for the unmanaged device, where we, as we spoke about, gives you that zero trust contextual access to, to SaaS applications, all through Chrome browser, leveraging, of course, the fact that you can control what data is going is uploaded, downloaded, with the controls within the browser from print, copy, and paste, the threat protections, all through a centralized management, and done without requiring another browser, another agent. Um, and something that can equally be extended to your hybrid as well as your first party workforce, regardless of where they are. So bringing it all back, as we thought about how to help you in our own investments in expanding our zero trust capabilities, we've, we've really been focused on how we can help you with coverage. How do we help with use case coverage to get you to, to zero trust? And across clouds, devices, and ecosystem, We've been working to introduce a set of capabilities that allows you to get to all clouds, that gives you a comprehensive solution for unmanaged devices, so you can ensure secure enterprise browsing for SaaS applications with secure access and data protections, and expanded our work in our ecosystem, specifically with Palo Alto Networks and Prism Access, so you can have a comprehensive zero trust solution that covers substantial number of use cases for both unmanaged and managed, all powered by GCP. So thanks again for joining me today to hear about what's new in Zero Trust. Uh, I encourage you all to check out some of our other sessions, and in particular, uh, hear more about from our Google Cyber Security Action Team, or GCAT, about some of the, the capabilities they're offering when it comes to helping you through your Zero Trust journey in, with discovery sessions, workshops, recommendations, and implementation services. That's all for now. 
thank you very much for joining and see you next time.